Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will be installing the evacuated tubes for the PHS-60 solar thermal collector. With the frame assembled and tank in place, it is now time for the evacuated tubes. Firstly, place the white plastic cups into the openings on the bottom bracket. This will support the base of the tubes. Before inserting the tubes, you need to lubricate them. Soapy water will do the trick. When the tubes are lubricated, slide the gaskets onto the tubes as seen here. It is also a good idea to lubricate the openings on the tank to ease the insertion of the tubes. Holding a tube firmly, insert it into an opening on the tank, while gently oscillating and pushing upward. Never force a tube as you may damage it or the gaskets in the tank. When you are satisfied the tube is in, slide the base of the tube into its respective cup. You should install two tubes, one on either end of the system, to ensure that it is squared up before installing the remainder of the tubes. You can tell the system is square when the gap between the tank and the tube at the tank opening is equidistant along the whole of the circumference. When you are satisfied the system is square, proceed to tighten the nuts and bolts with a wrench. Mind you do not over tighten lest you damage the tank or frame. When the tank is secure, you can finish installing the remainder of the tubes. If you have not already done so, you should now slide the black gaskets upwards so that they are flush with the tank. Here you can see how an assisted tank threads onto the upper fitting. This is an electronic controller that gauges temperature and can operate a small pump to top off the tank.